Boston police getting in step with the community. That was the goal yesterday at the Mildred Haley Apartments in Jamaica Plain and five other locations around the city. It was all part of National Night Out, as well as a chance to meet Boston's new police commissioner, William Gross. In these tough times, it's really important that not only the police, but that the community residents can believe in each other. You have to come together as a group. They say it takes a village to really raise a kid. Well, it takes a village to raise a community up. And the only way we can do that is if we have both sides of the equation addressed, and that is the community, and that is the police. And what we've got in Boston is a real good unified coupling of the two. The communities are working collaboratively with the Boston Police Department for their crime watch, their neighborhood watches. We're all in this together, folks. We are from the same village. So it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a community to watch out for our children, to make sure nothing bad happens to them. This is the strength of our relationship. This is the strength of the community policing model when everyone comes together and works collaboratively. So we want to get to know people because otherwise we're just a uniform. And to use an old cliche, we all look alike. We're all wearing the same uniform, you got the badge on, you don't know us. We start going to these events, community meetings, they get to know us as individuals and they realize they can trust us and talk to us. There are a lot of people in this community who've been coming together and saying, this is our community and we have to come out and take it back and try to do as many positive things as we can do and work with the police and with other folks in the neighborhood who want to see our kids survive and thrive and the more you have people out here trying to do good things, the, the better community you have.